Determining the overall condition of wells, or that there is no corrosion inside pipes or vessels, are paramount to safe oil and gas operations. Ultrasonic time of flight diffraction, known as TOFT, is a fast, reliable, accurate and cost-effective means of ascertaining the integrity of oil and gas pressure systems and structures, more than any other currently available alternative method. TOFT monitors diffracted signals at the edges of defects that directly relate to the defect's true size and position. The technique allows for the detection of manufacturing and in-service defects such as slag, lack of fusion, weld root erosion, hydrogen damage and cracks. The technique can be deployed on welds and plate. To explain the principle in simple form, if a stone is thrown into a pond in which a log is floating, when the ripples reach the log, they are diffracted or bent around the ends. Toft works by treating a fault in steel as if it were a log, by recording where the diffractions occur. In the same way as the log is affected by the ripples of water, a discontinuity or crack absorbs the energy of the ultrasonic sound wave and then emits it out at the defect's extremities. Toft uses two probes that are positioned equidistantly from the centre of the area being inspected on a simple frame, usually at 45 degrees, 60 degrees or 70 degrees to each other. Scanning is typically done parallel to the weld being inspected, which is called a D-scan. The transmitter sends out ultrasound at an angle, and if the sound is obstructed by a defect, some of the sound energy is diffracted at its edges and the receiving probe detects this signal. The system sensitivity is set on a calibration block of a similar thickness to the test piece, which allows optimal detection of diffracted signals from indications and even grain boundaries in welds. When compared to traditional techniques, the probability of detection, POD, is up to 90% for flat or spherical defects compared to 52% for regularly used conventional techniques. Unlike conventional techniques, defect detection does not depend on orientation. Any orientation of indication can be detected. Defects from plus or minus 0.5 to 1 mm can be detected in wall thicknesses ranging from 6 to 400 mm, dependent on application and in temperatures from minus 10 to plus 400 degrees Celsius. A dead zone is apparent at the scan surface. This is largely dependent on the thickness of the test piece and the focal depth used for the primary beam. This effect reduces the resolution of defects within this area. However, surface breaking defects would affect the travel path of the ultrasound between the two probes, identifying a problem for remedial action. By varying the transducer type, size, frequency, separation and number of scans, the system can be best suited to the thickness, geometries and materials. Here is how TOFT works in practice. If there is no fault in the weld, the system records the lateral wave of the sound travelling across the surface to the other probe and the reflected signal from the back wall echo. These two signals are used to determine the thickness of the material scanned. If there were a defect, this response would appear between the lateral wave and back wall responses to allow for depth and length measurement. The signals are time resolved by use of simple geometric calculations and output as a graphical image. This image shows A. Lateral wave B. Back wall echo C upper crack tip echo, D, lower crack tip echo, E, shear wave response. Every millimetre, 
an A scan is fired through the steel between the transmitting and receiving transducers for the full length of the scan, using an encoder to ensure accurate measurement. The individual A scans are stacked together to give a 2D real-time representation of the thickness of the material across the length of the scan and the accurate size and position of any flaws present in the scan. A typical application of time-of-flight diffraction on welds of mature assets is for the detection of weld root erosion, WRE. This is the preferential attack on the weld, where Toft can accurately identify and monitor the erosion and corrosion for any propagation. Through the correct application of the technique to specific requirements, enough information about the state of the material is normally obtained from a single pass. The technique is a rapid way of acquiring precise data. Toft scanning can be undertaken online without shutting down plant and does not require the intensive and costly personnel involvement that is involved with radioactive inspection approaches. When compared to most other techniques, Toft has a higher level of reliability and accuracy and a permanent record is produced, unlike any other conventional approach. Years of expertise are required not only to fully understand the inspection technology, but how to interpret the data. Correct application is also essential. That's where Sonomatic's 25 years of expertise, experience and track record play a big part in providing the best service available when it comes to Toft scanning capabilities. The Nautilus 2 subsea scanner is one example of providing an innovative solution to a seemingly insurmountable task. How to perform full-scale Toft scans on installation legs and pipes subsea. The diver-deployed Nautilus 2 can quickly and accurately survey vertical or horizontal legs and pipes to ascertain their integrity under harsh conditions. Once attached to the pipe to be surveyed, the Nautilus 2 is remotely operated to scan a section of pipe perpendicular to its attachment collar. It then rotates in stages 360 degrees around the pipe to produce a complete picture of the integrity of the section surveyed. It can then be repositioned to scan another section until the survey is complete. This can be accommodated on 4 inch to 36 inch diameters in a full collar and a 48 inch and 52 inch in a half collar. Determining whether corrosion exists and how extensive it is inside pipes or vessels are paramount to the integrity and safety of oil and gas operations. Ultrasonic corrosion mapping is a fast, reliable, accurate and cost-effective means of ascertaining the integrity of oil and gas pressure systems and structures. The technique allows the detection of reduced wall thickness due to internal corrosion or erosion. The versatility of the system allows for either manual or automated control of the probe during scanning, so the technique is suitable for use on complex geometries, such as T's, valves, bends, nozzles and vessels. Corrosion mapping uses a zero-degree ultrasonic probe, which emits an ultrasonic wave from the probe head directly into the material being scanned. The system measures the wall thickness of the material being scanned by calculating the time taken for the ultrasonic signal to travel back from the opposite wall boundary. By positioning a CCD camera linked to Sonomatic's corrosion mapping software at a predetermined standoff position over the probe, the LED, and therefore the probe, can be tracked according to its grid position. As the probe detects variations in remaining wall thickness, the camera picks up the probe's position and the software used by the system creates a real-time colour image of the piece being inspected based on thickness of material. Accurate plotting of any variance in remaining wall thicknesses is shown through a colour palette, each individual colour denoting a remaining wall thickness recorded in millimetres. A whole range of specific depths can be attributed to differing colours 
so a visual record of material depth can be built up. The completed colour image represents the respective contours of any internal surface corrosion or erosion according to the designated colour scheme. The sensitivity of the system allows for the detection of corrosion pits of very small depth and area. These isolated corrosion pits are clearly represented on the final image by the changing colours of the pixels. Although camera coverage is 100% of each selected scan area, a larger picture can be created by compositing or stitching scan files together to produce an overall image of corrosion conditions in larger pieces of plant, such as vessels. This is particularly suited to creating a composite image of a bend in pipework, for example. In the example shown, a series of scans is combined to give an accurate picture of the condition of the pipe's internal wall. Any non-inspected areas are highlighted on the system to ensure that coverage is guaranteed. Reports can be automatically generated by the system after completion of each scan area. Once the raw data is acquired, a selection of additional software routines can be used to prepare three-dimensional enhanced views cross-sections which show a side-on image of wall thickness and charts detailing percentage of material loss for the item under test. Corrosion mapping subsea can be achieved by using either the diver deployed automated Nautilus 2 or ROV mounted subsea scanners to inspect vertical or horizontal structures, risers and pipelines or the diver deployed manifold scanner which is designed to operate in the restricted spaces that manifolds present that would prevent deployment of a normal system. Another means of successful corrosion mapping is by use of the innovative Raptor Scanner. This dual-axis manipulator is primarily designed for the rapid corrosion mapping of vessel plate and large diameter pipework. The crawler's interchangeable magnetic wheels give it the capability to inspect up to 5 square meters per hour.